A judge sentenced a Baton Rouge woman to spend her life behind bars for poisoning and killing her boyfriend. Earlier today, Michelle Hale looked like she was about to bond out today, but that changed. NBC Local 33 investigative reporter Ariel Salk joins us in studio with more on this startling change of events. Ariel, what exactly happened today? Michelle Hale learned today that she will spend the rest of her life behind bars. But up until a few hours ago, it looked like she might have been released on bond. However, an appeals court blocked that bond and she will remain behind bars. Much the family victim's family's relief. Uh, I really don't know how to feel right now. I mean, it's, it's, it was a, sh a shocking to give somebody a mandatory life and then turn around and give them a bond. Friends and family of Damien Skipper were stunned today after the woman who was found guilty of killing him was going to be given the opportunity to get out of jail. We can't, we can't get Skipper, we can't get him back for a while and, and then let him go back to where he at. I mean, we can't get him back and it just, it just kind of confusing right now that they'll do such a thing. Michelle Hale was sentenced to life behind bars for Skipper's murder in 2015, but her attorneys filed an appeal and the judge gave Hale the opportunity to bond out pending the hearing. With all respect uh, to the court, we, we just, it's hard for us to accept and the family to accept a bond, the bond that's given this case. I've been doing it 29 years and I've tried a lot of murder cases. I've never seen this happen. If she had bonded out, she would have been put on house arrest, wearing a GPS device, and would have been monitored. Everybody should be worried. I mean, if you, you mandatory life, you kill one person that you're convicted of, and then you got another one that you might that you're not convicted of yet. So, who's to say who's next or what she could do while she's still out? Her husband's death is still being investigated and remains open six years after his death. Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Ariel, thank you so much for that report tonight.